Excellent work, Commander. Without warp spiders stirring up the orcs, Typhon is far more secure. It still remains unclear what the Eldar hope to gain by provoking the orcs. Whatever their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but our astropath described their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow across the warp? Those were their exact words? Yes, those were their exact words, Cyrus. We have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I need to see to our defenses. Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Thule out. Why so concerned with the ravings of Astropath, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have, for all our sakes. See, Avidus knows. I know. So does Avidus. <laughs> it's actually a bad thing. Um, that uh, uh, there's a shadow in the warp. Terrible thing for everybody. <laughs> well, besides, you know, the Tyranids. Why do you mean I cannot dispose of this item? It's trash. Um, Claimer aptitude. Instant revival. Cyrus becomes able to revive incapacitated squad leaders instantly. Um, drop smoke. Stillness. I do you like that? Um, what else can I get rid of? That's the real question here. Oh, that's only usable by the Force Commander. So what if I don't want it? Uh, what does armor rating do for me again? I forget. I'm assuming nothing. It's just it's just the rating of the armor. Okay. Uh, we'll put it on, I guess. Uh, but it's got plus 31 health. And I like living. Screw it. <laughs> Um, hmm. I might go with this because I don't have a lot of anti vehicle, which is not helpful. Um, on hit, reduce target armor for a duration, and then 13% chance per hit of plus nine damage and uh, recover 22. Health on hit. Uh, we'll go with that for now. Don't know if that's truly what I want, though. Okay. Okay. Now we have to go and defend the array. The breeze can continue to attack vulnerable targets. A communications array has come under attack from an orc horde. They seek to loot and destroy this important structure. These arrays improve our communications across the subsector and allow us to monitor enemy movements. We cannot afford to lose that advantage. Uh, succeed or lose the array. Costly loss expiry. Um, and tarantula turrets, century guns available in mission, bonus intelligence, orcs may fall back but will regroup in her turn. Okay, so yeah, we'll deploy. So pretty much what it's saying is either you do this mission or you don't, or you lose it. Um, the orc menace, uh, savage and bloodthirsty, barbaric and brutal orcs infest the galaxy from end to end. Green-skinned and ape-like, these aliens are brutal combatants and form into massive warbands which set to burning and pillaging everything in their path. The most dangerous is the war boss, largest and most cunning of the orcs. These huge chieftains can inspire the fear and discipline necessary to trigger a massive war, an orc uprising that can topple entire systems if not stamped out quickly. The orc assault is about to begin, Commander. 
Oh boy. Enthusiasts will target the generators powering the array. If those fall, the relay will be theirs. Okay, so they're coming from that way first. I really don't want to put my units into any buildings because um, if I do, they're going to die. Fucking dummies. Ah, oh, shit. Look out. Tarantula turret take care of it for now. We didn't use any of our uh, special stuff, so Oh, that's going to hurt. Uh, don't kill the force commander. Oh, thank God. Thank, by the emperor's light. Thank goodness that did not kill the fucking commander. Power sword? Fuck yes. Oh my god. Too far out. Fall back. Nice.
Open fire, tarantula, uh, tarantula turret. Let's go. Ah, shit. Oh, good work, Cyrus. Good work. Prepare for the final assault. We still have all three of our, ter or our uh, things remaining. But there is a uh, there is war boss here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is so not good. Oh, Jesus. God damn. That was that was ridiculous. Oh, you're kidding me. Let our enemies beware, for victory is ours. Well, we did it. And we got a sniper rifle, which I bet you is not as good as um, the one that we currently have. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit, we got a bonus deployment. Fuck yes, thank you. I don't think anybody leveled up from that, but that is fine. Excellent work, Commander. Losing that array would have been a devastating blow in our fight to save the Sector. Losing it to the Orcs would have been particularly painful, since their plan was to loot it for parts. That would have been a blow. No arrays of this type have been made in two millennia. That is correct, Sergeant. We no longer have the technology to make these arrays. Losing one is a blow the Imperium never fully recovers from. Your victories against the Orcs and Eldar have stabilized the situation on Typhon for the time being. Not all news is good, however. We are receiving numerous reports of local vegetation mutating and attacks by hordes of leaping alien creatures. These creatures, what do they look like? Most of the reports are from citizens, Cyrus, and their fear makes for unreliable descriptions. I need you to return to Calderas as soon as possible. Bad Zappa's orcs have gathered for another major strike against the planetary capital. Without your support, I fear Calderas will fall. Um, well, let's get rid of this first, because we won't need it. Uh, enemy melee attacks cause squad to sprint for a short duration. What? Ew. Well, it's got a good fucking armor rating. I'll give it that much. Uh, power sword. It's kind of trash, so we'll trash it. Um, yeah, okay. So Thaddeus leveled up. Plus 28 health. 
plus four range damage. Well, well, let's do the 28 health because that's going to be nice. Um, 34.5. Give you the bolt pistol. Uh, 34.5, 34.5, 34.5. Uh, plus 28 health, plus 10% uh, melee damage resistance, and plus 12% uh, chance per hit of energy recovery. We don't need that. We'll give you this. Yes. Yes, yes. There you go. Uh, we need to give you more health. And... Upon landing in jump or completing a teleport, Thaddeus and his squad are temporarily invulnerable. We'll just keep uh, bulldozing into there. Oh, I have to be level 7? You're effing kidding me. I want to get rid of that. Uh, and we'll get rid of that as well. Oh, fuck it. I don't want that either. <laughs> um... Out of this. That also sounds like it's trash. So we'll get rid of that. And then we can also give myself this. Ha ha! Plus 13 armor rating. Hell yeah. Um, equip drop pod beacons and orbital bombardment beacons can each be used twice in a single deployment. Okay. Interesting. Put a couple into range because now we're really now we're using a ranged weapon so we will require that defense of argus gate mech bad zappa and his orcs are set to overrun argus the planetary capital if they do so all of calderas will fall i have set up a defense at the city gates but the initiates and space marines there need your support you will drop south of their position and drive north to secure the gates. I have taken a few space marines to the east and have cut off the orcs' main approach. Calderas must not fall, Commander. Bonus intelligence. Heavy ranged weaponry will aid in holding the city against orc attackers. Bad Zap is likely to deploy uh, proximity mines and stick bombs. Nimble units will be at an advantage. Okay. Devin Tool. Blood Ravens Captain. The commander of uh, Space Marine Operations in subsector, subsector Aurelia, David Thule is charged with protecting the Blood Ravens, recruiting worlds of Calderas and Typhon. Thule vaulted to prominence four centuries ago when he slew the Chaos Witch Morgana in the Black Fortress of Vespa. He further proved himself with his heroics in the Cadia campaign, and with his command of the Kronos campaign, uh, Thule is a highly respected Blood Ravens captain and is renowned for being fiercely protective of those who serve under him. Uh, boss, I think we threw a few things. What? You kids can't do anything right. I'll have to fix it myself. That's one way to do it. The orc leader, he's getting away. Iron Halo activates a force field that absorbs damage by draining energy. Does sound very nice, actually. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Cyrus? You fucking maniac! Way, 
Ooh, plasma gun. Nice. We're working on it. Wow, it took you long enough to realize that you were about to die. We are working on it. You have any resources back there for me? No, not really. Damn it. Superior power armor, which is actually kind of trash. Enemy is really trying to push through our defenses. Oh yeah, it's more power armor. Trash. Oh crap! Yeah, get rid of the stick bombers. Stick bombers. There we go. You lot have made a mess of all these plans. I don't appreciate that. Oh shit! The green skin is causing an earthquake. Watch it, Elaine. 
god, Lord, dude. The screen shake is unbelievable. Holy crap! Yes, I know, but I also kind of need reinforcements. Maybe? Oh, okay. Well, that's actually disappointing, then. Yes, they are. <laughs> Ow, bastard. Fucker, stop trying to blow up my turret. <laughs> Only got the one. <laughs> You dick. Oh, I think I accidentally killed, uh, killed one of our guys. Yes, there we go. Cool to all blood ravens. Prepare for emergency extraction to the Armageddon. We are facing far more than orcs or Eldar. Commander, Captain Sewell needs your aid. Deploy to his position immediately. Repositioning. We'll make our way. We'll see what happens. No surrender. Now it's time for my favorite army in all of Warhammer. Were those things a foe far deadlier than orcs or Eldar Thaddeus? More Xenos fight through to Captain Sewell. Tyranids are so much fun. I wish I got a little bit more love in games. Like, I'm glad that they're uh, going to be in Space Marine 2, because that's, like, the biggest selling point for me is that. Just is the fact that they are going to actually be in that game, which is absolutely fantastic for me. Um, it's, like, it, it sucks for everybody else who, who's like, ah, man, Tyranids are just the punching bags of the galaxy which is kind of necessary i'm here to do both things i don't know why the hell you ran in there you dummies Kill it! Kill it! Break the synapse! Oh, jeez. Captain Sewell, get to Captain Sewell. 
We're already there. Damn. Hey, we got a built a bomb pack. Now we have more anti tanks. And all of our squad stayed up? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Ah, oh, I almost got another deployment. Shit. <laughs> we face our darkest hour. Captain Thule has fallen to aliens who have escaped retribution. A massive hive fleet looms over our recruiting walls. But this battle is not over. I mean, it might as well be because, uh, Tyranids are kind of hard to deal with. Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander, I am Apothecary Gordian. Chief of Genomedicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed, and an alien poison is attacking surviving tissues. I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress, but as of now, I have no means to counteract its effects. Gordian had better prepare himself for more of us to require his tending. You fear the aliens, Cyrus? I know no fear, Apatus. But I am no fool. Those were Tyranids. Alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them. And only a handful of us. Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once. A long time ago. When I served in the Death Watch. We are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then... We will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. And yeah, I guess, but whatever. Ah, uh, Cyrus become, uh, becomes able to revive incapacitated squad members. Instead. Oh yeah, we, we're building up towards that because that would be fantastic for us. Um, no, nope, we're fine. We're fine with that. Uh, we're going to move to Typhon. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to end for the night because I'm tired and it's like 2.40 already. Um, but yeah. It's been a good night. We kicked ass. Okay. Night of Vengeance. Our resilience has been terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Killed over a thousand orcs and 240 Eldar and about 160 uh, um, Tyranids, which is awesome. Excuse me. But yeah, that is where we are going to end for now. Uh, take an exit to Windows. Fuck off. Whew, what a what a wonderful night. It's been good. Hold on. Everything's messed up. Sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Don't mind the scratching Ugh, goodness i forgot uh to to pick my thing up from last time uh it's been a good night uh later today or even sometime again uh we will play subnautica possibly uh we will see if i can get to the place i need to go and if i can't then we'll hold off on subnautica and play something else possibly dyson sphere program i don't know um, but for now, uh, thank you all for joining me. It's been a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday into Wednesday morning. 
Um, and with that, let us not forget the gamer code, HFTL. Have fun and good luck. I will see you all in the next video and or live stream, whichever one happens first. But until then, bye-bye.